So the challenges faced by the um, the field of science and technology in Africa, in my perspective, is that it is a fairly new uh, field in the development world, which has been concerned so far in the field of education, rather with basic education and primary education, and not so much about research and higher education, which also implies, in terms of investments from the government, uh, not so much um, very little money invested in uh, research and development. Well, science and technology is at its very early stage in Africa and in Nigeria, and there is need for such areas uh, of development. And uh, this is why the United Nations comes in. You see, the research centers uh, by United Nations has not shown enough presence in Africa. In the issues of science and, and technology, Africa needs to cooperate and to harness synergies. Uh, as you are aware, we have a lot of scientists and engineers serving other economies all over the world, America, uh, the United Kingdom, even France, Germany, and you find African engineers and scientists uh, there. So it's to tap into this uh, expertise that is there and, and use it to develop uh, expertise on the continent. It is evident today Nous revendiquons un peu de transfert de technologie parce que nous avons une volonté de poursuivre l'indispensation de nos pays et notamment de l'Algérie. Et je pense qu'avec nos partenaires aujourd'hui, parmi les priorités dans le cadre de négociations et discussions avec eux, nous mettons l'accent sur l'effort la, de transfert de technologie pour euh, approfondir et consolider l'industrialisation du pays. Each country must have four technical research institutions and we prefer those in academia because of their independence. How can these universities be reinvented? One way of doing that is to create a new generation of technology-based universities. And some countries are already starting to do that. Kenya, for example, is drafting a law that will lead to the creation of technology-based universities where the research, the teaching, and the commercialization of new products will be combined under one institution. Let me give you an example, which is the development of the first drug uh, used to treat sickle cell anemia, which is a common disease in Africa. This was developed by Nigerian scientists, but they were working in collaboration with the, their counterparts in the United States. And it wouldn't have been possible for them to actually develop this drug if they didn't have this partnership. This question of the participation of women in the African economy is very important. For example, in Africa, when you look at food, it is equal to women. Water is equal to women. And all this energy is equal to women. So we cannot revolutionize the situation of, of Africa if we don't take the women seriously and don't change the, 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 the work of women into a better, uh, with, with technology, applying technology and science. So there's no way we can avoid the African woman. The main area at the moment is uh, being able to participate in the biotechnology revolution, especially in being able to address issues related to agriculture, health, and environmental management. And one of the limiting factors in doing that is enabling African universities to connect with the knowledge centers uh, around the world. In, in South Africa, for example, they have developed this very strong expertise in, in satellites, um, in space technologies. So this shows that it's really possible. Uh, it's just a matter of giving it emphasis, giving it a priority, giving it a possibility to, to unfold itself.